<laughs> Are you okay? Smell that? I can't smell anything. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I smell a bad Big Ten team. Is it my team? No. no that's, that's just no, me. No, no. It's just me. Is it? Is it you? Yeah, no. it's just me. I don't have that body wash you talked about on today's Sleepers podcast. And also my team reeks of horrible coaching. Uh, Indiana's eight and three. Win. Win's a win, right? Yay. Is a win a win? Yeah, so win is a win. We're still doing the win is a win thing with with, with Indiana. Hey, I mean, obje- objectively, a win is a win, right? Yeah, a win, a win is a win. A win took a... 20 to 2 run, which also was aided greatly by the fact that Moorhead State decided to stop making shots. A lot of the shots were actually open. Moment got a little too big for the boys. But I mean, Moorhead State got they that they should have won that basketball game. And Indiana did not deserve to win that basketball game. Like in any shape or form, they were out rebounded. They were out block shotted by Moorhead State. Moorhead State didn't have their best player. Uh, Moorhead State was on the road at Assembly Hall. What an environment. Woof, woof. Got to get it done. Go Hoosiers. Who what? Hoosiers. Like, like, what do we – I can't believe that we have to come on here and give this team credit. They are not good. They are not good. Maybe they are good enough to get up against good teams and take them to the wire like they did Kansas at home on a sneaky Saturday and come away with a moral banner. But this team is not it. They are not. I had to watch them try to get back into this game with pick and roll long twos by Gabe Cups and McKenzie and Baco shooting, what, four for 18 from the field. Thank God they were able to get rebounds and go on that 22 run. And Moorhead State pissed down their leg when the moment got too big. This team is bad, man. They're missing the tournament. They are. And that uh, bad loss is going to come. They can keep flirting with it. They, they've been flirting with bad losses all season. The bad losses are coming really soon. Okay, the rant that you told me was epic from my Michigan recap video about Jawan Howard. That was your version of that about Indiana. I didn't expect that from you. I think that's incredible. Uh, can you say out block shotted again? I, I knew I I knew I knew that one was gonna come back to get me. I just want to hear you say it again. They out block shotted. <laughs> That's nice. Indiana. Uh, also, did you drop a woof woof in there? I didn't know what the Hoosiers was. I like what is a Hoosier? Hoorah Hoosier on the fly was a nice rebound from that. That was solid. <laughs> um, yeah, I look. I don't think they're good. I didn't think they were good in the off season, but I still am very much on the the side of like, Hey, it's much better to be bad and win your games than it is to be kind of good and lose them, which is how I feel about my team. Like I, I think Michigan's kind of good and they keep losing all their games. So it, 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 Michigan's probably ahead in Kempom over Indiana. They are by 40 spots. And we just lost to Indiana last week. So like, Indiana stinks, man. I think that's, but they win the games, dog. It's the inverse of Ohio state last year. We're like, why is Ohio state 20th in the country? They're horrible. And this is like, why is Indiana eight and three? They're horrible. But like they're actually winning the games. It's not just Ken Palm ranking them high. Oh, um, well, let me ask you this. Why, why did this team lead Kansas for so much of that game? If they're actually this bad. Because I think they just got up for that game. Like, they got up for that one. It The Assembly Hall was rocking. It was Kansas. It was Bill Self. It was Hunter Dickinson. Like, all the storylines surrounding the game. I think they were able to get up for that. And then once they got up by, like, 10 or something, that that mystique wore off. All the storylines wore off, and they realized who they are. And it's not a good basketball team. And that's so why they lost. You're kind of going back to, like, the want it conversation with them a little bit. Not even the wanted, because I don't know if it's necessarily their fault. This team doesn't have guards. They don't. Does that change when Xavier Johnson comes back? I mean, that's that's remained to be seen. Okay. Xavier Johnson was a big reason that this team was in dogfights with Navy and Wright State, too. Yeah. Okay. Um... I don't, also, I don't think Khalil Ware took a shot in the first half of this game, by the way, too. Yeah, I was going to try and lead you to the bigs. What do you make of Indiana's bigs right now? Uh, well, we saw Oregon Khalil Ware for the first half. Didn't even get a shot attempt up. Uh, Mackenzie and Baco, I believe, didn't get a field goal, make a field goal in the first half. Uh, they were turning the ball over. 
Uh, they could not check Lathan from Moorhead State. Uh, the the lineups caused confusion on the defensive end, which led to breakdowns and layups and open shots. Uh, they were missing free throws. They were not prepared. They were getting out rebounded. How this front court gets out rebounded by anyone that shouldn't happen in any game whatsoever. It was it was bad. It was truly truly bad, and it took a miracle run late in the second half, twenty to two, I believe it was, to win this basketball game. And after all that, after all that happened, Moorhead State still had chances to win this basketball game, and they didn't. They still had the ball. They had they had the ball in their hands the last second shot with a chance to win it. What did you think of that last possession? I loved it. I don't care. I know everyone's saying go to the basket, do whatever. I don't know. That dude had 30. He could take whatever attempt he wants. He was hitting everything. Do not care. I mean, I'm shocked by that. That was so bad. That was so bad. Like I I have I have a soft spot for bad shot attempts by players that are going stupid during the game. Okay. Cause bad because if that bad attempt did go in, how special would that a moment have been? It would have been special, but like he didn't even give himself a chance at the attempt. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I, you know, we're pulling hairs here, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I get a quick cardio cups check in? <sighs> I mean, he did a great job of picking up ninety four feet. Um, it was a it was a really big cardio cups game, and I I mean that genuinely. The man totaled three points, five rebounds, and two assists to zero turnovers tonight in thirty two minutes. Uh, he had the worst offensive rating on the team. He was uh, one for four from the floor and one for three from free throw. But again, five rebounds. Huge for cardio cups. Isn't Indiana a basketball state? I mean, Gabe Cups is like what you think of when you think prototypical Indiana born and Ray out. Is he from Indiana? He has to oh, be. Gabe Cups is from Ohio. Oh, that's a huge that's what's happening here then. If Gabe Cups was from Indiana, he'd actually be a productive basketball player. See, and now here's the other point on workshopping. All of the high school basketball that goes on in there, I mean, there's a lot of it in the state of Indiana. You know, it just means more there. Who, who, hoorah. You're telling me there's no one. <laughs> what is like, the who, who, hoorah, man? What I don't know, that? but I'm just going to make it stick. I'm about to go look up 24-7 sports, Indiana high school recruiting, and look up the guards that were in the state. There wasn't one. I know a couple guards from the state of Indiana that didn't end up in Indiana. For, that are freshmen right now? Who? Not freshmen right now, but I know a couple guards in the state of Indiana that didn't end up in Indiana. Yeah, I'm just saying. Do you know who I'm heard... talking about? Yeah, Fletcher and Braden. And I don't even blame him for Braden. Braden was probably going to Purdue. But where's the sense of the moment? If I heard one rumor about possibly Fletcher and Braden not liking each other in high school, I would have done whatever. I would have planted things. I would have put students on the case. I would have put student managers on the case. I would have put come put candy stripes on and show me you're better than Braden Smith. But no, they just let it happen. They let them make up for it in Laf in West Lafayette. And now they're doing great things. Yeah, I don't know. I, I it's hard. It's gotta be hard for Indiana to see how good Purdue is right now and like just try and deal with that, you know? Bro, the game comes uh, to playing 32 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I know Xavier hard. Johnson's hurt, but um, good Lord. So uh, by the end of the season, like soon, we will find out who Indiana is. I think at one point we said we'll find out who they are by the end of December. I don't really think we found out who they are because the results don't match up with who we think they are. I know who they are. This team's first place in the Big Ten right now. Big They're Ten. Oh. The Big <laughs> I know. Ten I know, but that doesn't mean like Indiana can stink and still win a bunch of Big Ten games and make the tournament. Like they don't have a bad loss. So Indiana, Indiana will finish eighth to ninth in the Big Ten. You oh. you called it before the season. I said they would finish higher. I, that's a lie. This team's not good. If you were Mike good. Woodson, though, if you were Mike Woodson, what players on this team do you want back next year? Because I think like on paper, objectively. Malik Renu, Kalel Ware, and Mackenzie Mbaka are all like players you would love to welcome back with open arms. Do you feel the same though? Because sometimes bringing back guys from a bad team is not a good thing for a basketball program. So Kalel Ware is probably gone though, right? Uh, aren't all of them in theory gone? Renault's not, I guess. Renault should be here, but like. Yeah, Renault should be here. Mbako and Ware in theory are all gone. 
I, th- I mean, I think you want to keep Mbako, and you got to you got to get some guards, man. Yeah. Okay. Like I know you got McNeely, but like you need more. Like, yeah. good lord, losing out of Boogie Flan is looking worse and worse by the day. Yeah. Uh, I did see the first time I saw signs of Indiana Twitter hinting that they might be ready to move on from Mike Woodson. That's the first time I've seen it. I will say I'm not super involved in Indiana Twitter circles. Uh, Would you move on from Mike Woodson? I don't think you can because you got McNeely. Hmm. Now you got McNeely. He got you Kalel Ware. He got you and Kenzie Mbako. So it's like the same reasons Michigan can't move on from Juwan because they have Fat Fat Brooks coming in. Oh, oh, okay. Well, there's a real big difference between Fat Fat Brooks and Liam McNeely, I must say. I'm sorry, G, by the way. I don't know if I made that unequivocally clear. This roster build is atrocious. I actually give Mike Woodson credit for being eight and three, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Like, isn't it? It's oddly impressive that this. Yeah, it it is weirdly impressive. And I hate that it is because this team stinks. I don't even have the energy to talk about if I think they stink or not anymore. I'm just impressed. They're eight and three. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Your bad basketball team is eight and three Indiana fans. So tonight, honestly, in your honor, I'm going to sleep in candy stripes. I want to, can I bring out a scale to end this? We're playing big. Are 10. you gonna, are you gonna stand on the scale? Is that what we're doing? Let's not do that. Let's. Not, I know you're lashing out, but let's not do that, please. This one. This scale is called. I'm scared of that team scale. Okay. Five is what? What are you most scared of in the world, G? Jawan Howard. Five is Jawan Howard being the coach of your basketball team. Fear no, level. No, no, no. Five is like Jawan Howard walks by me and I'm on the opposite end of the bench and like, I don't look at him the right way. Yes. That's what five is. Yeah. One is coach painter and Edie's relationship. It's all rainbows. You're, you're not, you're not afraid of them. They're just, or, yeah. you know, you're afraid of them on the court, but like, they're not, you'll be fine. Yeah. So does this mean like four is Fran McCaffrey's upset with the refs? Three is Tom Izzo. Uh, is angry that you didn't get back in transition. And then what's two? Like Brad Underwood uh, doesn't like your shot selection? Yeah. Like Brad, two is when Tyler questions Brad. Mm, okay. Like he's agitated a little bit. So, okay. And what's the what's the question with Indiana? <laughs> I want to know how much fear this Indiana team strikes in you. Painter. <laughs> I'm not that's like if if Gabe Cuffs has to play 32 minutes, I'm not afraid. That's what I'm, painter. Yeah, I'm painter. Not afraid. I'm not afraid. Painter. That's a I, brutal I, I, note to end this on for Indiana fans. Painter, painter, painter. <laughs> I'm just saying they got I mean they they got lucky and they already beat two of the weakest teams in the Big Ten. And those honestly, Michigan should have won against them. That makes me feel so much better. All right, Indiana, you got North Alabama and Kennesaw State next. Card, do they avoid disaster? Do they win those games? They probably find a way somehow. Is it safe to say you're rooting against the Hoosiers? Yeah, man. I'm sick of like wh- what did they do to earn this? Assembly Hall's dope. That that alone. It is dope. Yeah. It is dope, but they waste Trace Jackson Davis and they get rewarded with winning. Wouldn't say games. they wasted. Wouldn't say they wasted TJD. That's for another. Day. All right, Indiana win. fans, congrats on being eight and three. It's midnight. We're moving on. Uh, we'll be here to preview and recap the rest of your games. Goodbye.